What happens when a Town Hall 14 attacks in the Bronze League? What type of bases will we find? Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Town Hall 14 was released a little while ago and whilst I dropped down to the Bronze League as a maxed player, I wanted to do this again because you guys enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, and let's see if we can find some Town Hall 14s in the Bronze League. I am currently in the Titan League, 4478 trophies, and I am going to use a mass war breaker attack first, followed by a mass healer attack. But first, we need to drop all the way down to the lowest league, the Bronze League 400 trophies. But as you know, this takes a little while. So let's throw up a timer so you know exactly how long it takes. And let's go on this journey together. This might take longer than anticipated because that took quite a while, but minus 34 trophies, we just need to keep dropping as fast as we can. One league down, but many more to go. We have sadly been demoted to the Champions League, but we are still finding mainly Town Hall 14 players. What will the bases look like when we finally get down to Bronze League? Some free Dark Elixir whilst I drop trophies, don't mind if I do. Let's just place all of the heroes, use the Grand Warden's ability, and as soon as the DE storage goes down, we can get out of there and continue dropping. If only you could push up through the leagues as quickly as you move down through the leagues. That would be pretty awesome, but we are doing pretty good in terms of time right now. If you didn't know, one of the best Dark Elixir farming strategies that there is, is literally to drop trophies. Use your heroes and then get out of there. You can get a ton of Dark Elixir pretty easily by doing this. way now we are into the crystal leagues and i love the fact that my army is slowly getting built as we do this every time i attack and find a base i have more war breakers than the last hopefully should be done by the time we get to bronze league don't mind me just responding to your youtube comments whilst i drop down through into crystal league i can do two things at once we do still only have 23 percent of you guys subscribed sorry trying to drop at the same time so if you do enjoy my educational but entertaining clash of clans videos i would recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell what is this level one walls okay well this is the silver league this is the types of bases we're coming up against when we get to bronze league and i use all of my wall breakers i hope we find a base like that We have hit the Bronze Leagues, but it is Bronze 1. We need to drop even further so we get right to the lowest league. Hopefully find some rushed Town Hall 14s maybe? Check out this little engineered base, something you don't find very often in Clash of Clans. Just one defense. Prior to Town Hall 12 release, you used to be able to upgrade Town Halls without building all of the buildings. Check out this base. He has presents all over it. Previous Christmas presents, birthday presents. I can't even remember where they are both from, but these are cool. And look at the loot. 30 gold and 32 elixir. I did a video with the world's biggest loot raid. This surely has to be the world's littlest loot raid. We have been demoted to the lowest league. 700 gold for my loot bonus. 
I hope there is not a times four star bonus happening anytime soon, but we have the mass war breakers cooked up for the first attack. The mass healers still going in the background, but first, I'm pretty sure that took longer than previous videos where we have dropped. I've taken a couple of minutes out, but here we go. We are ready to find a base and attack it with mass war breakers. But what types of bases do we find as a town hall 14 in the lowest league? We need to take a little bit of a look at the bases first. Pretty well upgraded Town Hall 12 going to Town Hall 13. Let's get a bit of a gauge of the bases and then we'll attack one. Wow, look at this base. Pretty well upgraded Town Hall 14. So we're finding bases of a variety of levels. Town Hall 9 being the lowest I think we would find down here. I think it's highly unlikely we would find a Town Hall 8 and below being a Town Hall 14. But I'm actually finding bases quicker now than I did dropping down. This guy has 57 trophies and it's the type of base that maybe we could take down with the mass wall breakers. What I want to do is try and get super wizards into the central area of the base here. I mean, we could drop them on this scatter shot, but the sweepers there, I think we drop them into the eagle. There could be giant bombs here, so we need to be careful of that. Let's just give this a try. Let's go with the battle blimp from here. Let's hope there's not a black bomb. We need this battle blimp into the center. Oh, did the super wizards get in? They did. They are in the central area. That is perfect. And I need to keep them invisible because if a scatter shot locks on at town hall 14, that's it. The super wizards are down. Let's use another rage here. Try and get through the town hall. They're doing brilliant. We've got five invisibility spells left. I will just use them all for the super wizards if- Oh, the Gigabomb took them out! The Gigabomb took them out! Oh no! This- <sighs> Do we just go full throttle into this side of the base? Or do we clean up over here first? I think we try and directly go in. Okay, let's go with some wall breakers to tank. King, Queen, Warden. And really, we just need to use the wall breakers to not only get through the base, but also tank for our heroes. So let's just keep bringing them in. Let's keep bringing them in. Where are they going? Keep coming, keep coming into the base. Okay, I'm going to go King's ability, Grand Warden's ability to try and get us through the multi-target Inferno and the scatter shot. Let's actually use some uh, wall breakers. I was going to say super wall breakers from down at the bottom of the base. And we do still have invisibility spells. Let's turn the RC invisible. Not looking too bad here. I'm not liking the look of that multi-target Inferno. Let's turn the Queen and Royal Champion invisible. And let's just keep trying to distract the defenses with the wall breakers and use the invisibility for probably my royal champion. We've got one minute and 15 seconds. I think we're good here. I think we are good. Wall breakers. OP, my friends. Let's use one more invisibility for the queen and the royal champion. Actually got the grand warden in that as well. RC ability. Pings through defenses. Do we have it? Do we not? It's too close to call. Royal champion moving through. This is 57 trophies we will gain. Come on, queen. Why do you always break through the wall? Even with the unicorn, you still like the wall. Would you prefer for me to use the yak with the queen? Maybe. But there we are. Three stars with the mass wall breakers. It is the bronze league, but we need to use the mass healers. I meant to use a power potion because my wall breakers are an upgrade. Guess it didn't matter. That one attack promoted us to bronze too. How hilarious is that? But we do have 20 healers ready to go. Let's find a base. I actually had enough Dark Elixir from the trophy drop to upgrade my king. And that might be helpful with 20 healers because there's a good chance we time fail. Time fail. I'm going to have to send the heroes in from different angles. And I think it's difficult to say. I think I want to take the single target Inferno down first because that's going to have the most devastating impact on my heroes. So let's go with the battle blimp. I do have the rage and invisibility. So let's rage, invisibility, and pop the battle blimp. And I have two other invisibility spells for these super wizards. Hopefully they can take down the heroes a little bit here. Let's use one more of them. I've actually missed the single because I keep turning it invisible. Can you believe it? Go for the single. Oh, I've missed it. Okay, let's go king. A couple of healers for the king with wall breakers. Let's go queen at the top. Healers for the queen with wall breakers. Let's go grand warden. Oh, I didn't, eh, didn't really need to use those wall breakers for the grand warden, but oh well. Let's keep an eye on this, and I'm going to wait just a little bit on the royal champion. There's my king with the sickle on it. Uh, do I send the royal champion into the middle? Let's actually press the king's ability. 
Yarrow's going down. We're looking good here. Let's go with the Royal Champion to the middle. That will mean we can get the single target Inferno down. There it goes. King's looking good, but the Grand Warden has now merged with the King. We need to keep all of these heroes alive. Could really do with wall breakers right now. Let's use the Grand Warden's ability to try and protect all of the... Oh no, my, my Royal Champion's losing a lot of health. Press the ability and let's actually go with the four Earthquakes. We don't really need them, but we can use it to do damage to buildings. One minute and 30. We can use this to try and help my Royal Champion, but I've got nothing else. RC is going to go down. King has not managed to get through towards the scatter shot. My Queen is taking a lot of damage at the top as well. We still have the Queen's ability. 1 minute 15. Oh, there's a gold mine that was missed because of the Royal Champion being a defense targeting hero. I knew it. I knew that this would happen. That's why I tried to attack from different areas. The healers are taking huge damage right now. Come on, keep that king alive. Keep that king alive. Just that little bit longer. 50 seconds could make all the difference. Oh, this is stressful. Who'd have thought an attack in the Bronze League could be so intense? Can we do it? The mighty Yak raged up. Oh no, 30 seconds. Queen might be able to get through this. We've got the Queen's ability. I don't quite want to use it just yet because the multi will take all of the archers down that are spawned and I kind of need it. I kind of need the archers. Come on, Queen. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Get the multi, get the multi. Down it goes, let's use the ability. Archers are spawned, 15 seconds. Can we do it? Is it going to be a 99% time fail? It is because of this one gold mine. I do not believe that with 20 healers, we missed one gold mine. But that is what happens when a Town Hall 14 drops to the Bronze League. And if you want to see what happened when I defended in the Bronze League, when I used to be a max player, it is here alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.